It is currently late July here at the headwaters of the Marsons Mills River, and we are less than a week away from installation of this bioreactor. Uh, and over the next few weeks, we'll be able to start sampling to see how well it works. Since the Cranberry Bog Workshop, we formed a working group to really nail down the particulars of this project. We've been weeding weekly since mid-February, uh, and I've been coming out here just to really prepare this site for this installation. This bioreactor is very simple. If water flows through a big pile of wood chips, is the simplest way to put it, and we let nature do the work for us. There are organisms that live in wood chips that happen to consume nitrogen. And so our process is simple. We're simply going to put 17 cubic yards of wood chips into this ditch and allow the water to flow through it and take measurements to see how long it takes for the water to improve. So this week we put in a stone filter that'll prevent any sediments from clogging up the bioreactor and we've also set up some sampling ports and then that'll get everything set up so next week we really are just moving the wood chips into the ditch itself and get this thing operational. Here microbes are the star of the show. There's microbes living in the soil, the water, and the air and they perform a really critical role in recycling nutrients. In this bog, there's microbes that are really good at removing nitrogen from the water. The goal of this project is to improve conditions so that these microbes can grow, prosper, and thrive. Today's an exciting day for the bioreactor. We have a real team effort here today. We have representatives from EPA's Office of Research and Development, the Nature Conservancy, and our very own Barnesville Clean Water Coalition team to help move 17 cubic yards of wood chips into this ditch, and we've been hard at work since nine o'clock this morning. This is really exciting. This is uh, really the culmination of about two years of thinking and talking and theorizing. We've had uh, many, many meetings and discussions with EPA and the Nature Conservancy and really planned this thing out. A lot of thoughts gone into it. So we're really excited to see it going in the ground today. In fact, as we're talking, the first bit of water is flowing through this bioreactor and who knows, we might be getting the beginning of some treatment as of today. Together, I've been involved since 2018 to think about how these cranberry bogs might help us solve the nutrient problems that the Cape is facing. And so to be here and help build the first project that our group's getting in the ground is just really exciting. So if you're looking down the length of the ditch, the port on the left is to uh, pull water quality samples so that we can measure the changes in um, a few things, including nitrogen, which is one of our primary targets for this project. Uh, the middle cage is so that the wood chips can be pulled from a specific location and they can tell how they're aging and faring as the experiment goes along. And then the one on the um, far right, as you're looking at the ditch, those are for measuring um, dissolved oxygen in the water, which is an indicator of how the water chemistry um, is or is not in the right balance for the bacteria that will remove the nitrogen from the system. EPA was involved with the planning and design of this bioreactor and setting it up so that we can extract as much information as possible about how bioreactors work and how they can be applied in a more general, broad context. It was really exciting for us to finally be putting things in the ground. After months of preparation and talking about doing work, we finally got something into the ground, and so that's super exciting. Success is defined a lot of ways on this project. From a scientific perspective, it will be understanding how much nitrogen enters into the bioreactor and how much gets removed by the bioreactor and doesn't come out. But another measure of success is just the partnership and team that we've assembled with the Barnesville Clean Water Coalition, with the Nature Conservancy and other partners. And we saw that today. So I think we can declare victory on the partnership element of this project. So we're hoping to restore the cranberry bogs, turn them back into natural wetlands. Those conditions alone will be a catalyst to really help the environment, remove nutrients, remove nitrogen naturally. As the average Cape Codder probably knows, we have a massive water quality problem and there's a big price tag to fixing it. There have been bioreactors in different farms in the Midwest, but no one's ever put it in the ditch of a cranberry bog before. And if it works here, uh, we can put this in all the other ditches in this cranberry bog and uh, in cranberry bogs across Cape Cod to really help our coastal water quality.